Hey guys, so I wanted to do a little intro to this video because I feel like a lot of you are going to be so pissed at me <laughs> when you watch it. And so I want to take a second and explain what the desensitization process is. And I don't think I've ever showed it in this much detail. I just literally have my camera on me all the time, so I try to catch everything. A big rule in parrot training for Dave and I is to not baby your bird or don't rescue your bird in the sense of if you're doing flight training and your bird say lands on the piano well your bird can ease just as easily get off of the piano but if you just go and pick your bird up and say it lands on the ground or on the counter or wherever it lands where it's not supposed to land wasn't intentioned to land um, if you go and you just pick it up from from that position, you're basically teaching your bird, no matter where you go, if you're stuck or whatever, I'll just come get you. And when you transfer that to outside, there's places you can just not go, that your bird can go. And that's the top of a tree, that's the side of a cliff, um, up a mountain. You know, you can't get to those places that your bird can. And so you can't rescue your bird. So if you condition your bird that, yes, I will rescue you indoors, that transfers to outdoors. And when you can't rescue the bird in that situation, the bird has never learned how to properly get out of that situation for itself via problem solving, um, building its confidence and skill level to be able to know that it can, in fact, get out of that situation. So that's why this video is going to be what it is. Please don't get pissed. Actually, if you do, whatever. You can get pissed. I don't care. Um, I also wanted to help Morgan during this situation because, oh my gosh, a dangling bird trying to get out of the situation, can't figure it out, is asking me with body language to help her out of the situation and I'm not doing it. The reason behind me not helping her is to help her in the long term. I'm not a trainer for short term results. I don't care if it works today. I want it to work over the long term lifespan of the bird. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at what betters our relationship long term, not just right now. I don't care about right now results. I'm, I'm really looking at the bigger picture. And so I need Morgan to learn how to problem solve and to get out of those situations and through desensitization, it's going to build her confidence and build her skill level. And that's the whole idea behind all of the training that I'm doing. That's the concept, that's the point to get her to be able to fly outside. Also, the proud moment I had here is that you see this massive struggle, struggling, struggling, struggling. And then later in the day, when she's in a similar situation where she's on the side of the aviary, I'm just gonna say, I don't think she would have done that flight if it wasn't for the first struggle. So enjoy the video. So today I'm trying something different. I put these two together and I opened the garage door halfway um, just to kind of air it out, let them feel some fresh air and stuff. It's not super warm outside, so I won't be able to have it like this for long, but I wanted to expose her a little bit more to outside and have these guys tell her what's up. So yeah, so far so good. They freaked out a little bit when uh, brought the garbage cans up the drive, but other than that, it's been fairly good. So I'm gonna keep cleaning and switching everyone around. And we'll see if anything exciting happens or if they just stay calm. Can you figure out how to fly from that? That'd be pretty awesome. What do you think? Do you want to come over? Jinxie's coming over. Oh, oh, Pookie. How good were you yesterday in the video? I was so proud of you. I was so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Bubs. You're a cute little... Oh, 
Stuck his foot out trying to like touch my face. So it's Seth and Morgan. They definitely get a little bit jealous, but so far, really tried to work that in a positive direction. All right, guys. Well, I finished cleaning. It's starting to be a little bit chilly. going to let these guys hang literally for jinx this is the makeshift studio we set up in my house <laughs> so we're filming a new project we're really excited it is called the family friendly parrot formula and it's basically what we talk about in in-home consults and we found that we're telling everybody the same information so that all the family members can take a part in diagnosing their own issues and working through them so they don't need us in an in-home consult. <laughs> um, that's a goal anyway, so to help you better help yourself. Oh my gosh. You're still on that boing? Girl, can you not get off of there? What's the dealio? I'm almost wondering I mean, it seems ridiculous, but I'm almost wondering if she doesn't get how to get down from there. I mean, obviously she'd climb up to the top and go around, but... You've been there all morning. What's going on? Oh, that looks uncomfortable. Can you come over here? Come over here. Get off of there. Come on, you can do it. Come on, girly, you can do it. Do I need to come in there for some stronger motivation? I just wanna make sure you can get off that thing. You can, right? Right, girl? Morgan. Morgan, Morgan. I'm gonna fight some over here. Yeah, I'm so hard to figure it out. Jinx. <laughs> Morgan. Jinx. <laughs> Pay no attention to any other bird that's not me. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. It's so hard to ignore you, buddy. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and see if she can find a way off of that. Okay, let's try this. Can you come over here? Come on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what happened? What happened? So, Morgan, you have some wings you can use. Oh yeah, that might work. Jeez. I printed the... Oh. No, you're fine. Morgan's trying to figure out how to get off this boing. Like, she's been here all morning. Aww. She could climb to the top, but it's amazing that it's this complicated for her, right? So I'm just thinking if this was outside... <laughs> Gotta figure out how to yeah. how to get off of there. Oh, Morgan, did you take a bath? Look at her. It's like, how can I reach this frame? Oh. oh my god. I only have seven toes. What do you think? Like she obviously wants off of it, but she can't figure it out. I think. Mean, I mean, she's not gonna get hurt. No, no. 
Should um, I um, try targeting her up it to, because that would be the obvious solution that she'd go up, but I'm worried I can't get, I can't target her without getting close enough that she'd cheat and grab me. Come over here. Come on, girl. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, Morgan. You can do it. Good, you're climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, girly. Come on. You can do it. You can. You can do it. You're not helping, you're being rude. Keep climbing. I'm gonna move him. Okay, can you come up here? Can you climb up? Come on, climb up. Come on, Morgan. Climb up, climb up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 climb up, climb up. Keep climbing. Oh, girl. All right, if you can do this pop, you can totally come. Jump, jump, jump. Come on, you can do it, jump. Jump, jump. Come on, come on. You can do it. I'm sorry, stop it. Jump, 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 come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Jump, jump, jump. Come on, come on. Come on, girly. Oh, you almost did it. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all right. Let's keep trying. Don't give up. Yeah, Morgan, good girl. Good girl. Oh my goodness, you did it. Good job. I gotta set you guys down. I gotta get her a nut for that. That was so good. So babe, are you going? I got her to, I was, I got her to fly from it to me. And she kept like twisting and falling, but she didn't give up. She totally did it until she like jumped flew to me. Good. Yeah, and she's like, really been awful at those short flights in the past. So it was really challenging for her and it was awesome. I'm so excited. I could tell it took a lot for her that's, to get over that. That's cool. What's up? Hey guys, okay, I'm super, super duper excited right now. I feel like I'm on this emotional high. Um, so we did a live unboxing today of some of our Easter toy bundles, Dave and I did. And uh, I had an appointment to run right after and I literally told the live video on our Facebook feed. I was just like, okay, when I get back, I'm gonna put these toys in with our birds. So I did. <laughs> and since Jinx, the aviary that Jinx and Morgan are sharing is probably the most sparse aviary, um, cause the doves were in it and I took all those toys and I transferred them outside with them. Uh, I put most of the toys in that aviary and what happened when I was in there was Morgan was on the side of the aviary, like holding onto the bars. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think she might fly to me. So I coaxed her and like asked her and, you know, encouraged her and everything. And she did, she totally flew to me from the side of the aviary, which she switched feet a few times, like how she was gripping to figure it out. But she did it and it was so awesome. And I told Dave and he's like, did you get it on video? And I was like, no, because I just went in there to give her toys. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can get her to do it again for all of you guys to see because I'm really excited about it. It means that she's learning skills, she's getting better and more confident, um, and she's just getting more skillful, which is a big, big deal for outdoor flight because sometimes you're, you're well, as a bird, you're like stuck in a tree or you're on a branch and branches are breaking and you don't feel good and it gets windy and you need to figure it out and the locksmith is here. So I'll do it after locksmith. <laughs> Okay guys, locksmith is gone. That was hilarious timing. I'm gonna try this and see if Morgan will do this slide because it would be amazing. Hi, girly. Hey, I have a proposition for you. Morgan, can you do it? Yeah, I think you can do it. Come on, girl. Yeah, girl, so easy peasy. 
Good job. How cool is that, you guys? Juice it. It's like, I want to fly too. So I just gave them their veggies. They're sharing, they're eating the same thing. They both got bird juice diet. You can kind of see what it looks like. <laughs> and they both seem really content with their own bowls because last time they were switching bowls. I'll try to show you Jinx's, but he might eat my camera. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna feed everyone else. That's what they're eating. They're eating their veggies. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys around to watch it. <laughs> See how everybody eats, because it's super cute. <laughs> I might even get brave and try giving them pellets together tonight and see how that goes. I have not tried that yet. All right, super proud of Morgan and Jinx. These are their bowls after the, giving them the bird chicks diet. My other birds, see they still leave a little bit. These guys, I think they like licked the bowls. Okay guys, let's see how they do. <laughs> There's no fighting. Take your side. You guys have your sides. I only wore it anymore because I already made it. You did? And you drank it? I, I drank it already. Okay. Thanks. Wow. Well, that was very uneventful. <laughs> Not breathing, actually sleeping. Okay? Alright. Peaceful and quiet. These other lights are on a timer, so they'll go off in about an hour and a half. Hey guys, so these two have spent two nights together now. They're doing awesome. No issues. There's Jinxie. Um, so yeah, they're living together full time now. I separate them every so often just to give them some space, but for the most part, they se seem to have enough space that they don't bug each other. Every time I come in, they're not really together. They're on opposite sides. So they're definitely giving each other space and doing really well together. So about to give breakfast. <laughs>